Hello everyone and happy Friday fun day. Who who who's ready to do some crafting tonight? Oh my goodness, am I going the wrong way again? Are you kidding me? What is with this phone? I thought I fixed it. Let's try this. I fixed the whole landscape thing on it, so I thought it could. Let me try to see if it'll... You can't turn while recording. All right, then. I guess it told me. Okay, let me get this situated here. Hold on to your panties, folks. I guess we're going we're gonna to be going uh, vertical again. I mean, I had it all set up, and then, well... The alarm went off for me to take my medication, and, well, you know, let me pick this up and move this over a little bit. And there goes my light. Let me get, pick up my light. I hope everyone is having a good day. Better than I just started off, maybe. <laughs> my light's falling over. Boy, yo, yo. So welcome everyone, welcome, come on in. Probably situate myself, get everything readjusted when I thought I had everything adjusted. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how we go tonight. Hello, Fran. Hi, everyone. I think everyone means you and me, Fran. That would be everyone. So we'll see. We'll see how this new um, night's going to go. I'll explain that in a, just in a minute. <clears throat> and I feel like I am like you're losing my voice. I don't know if it's the medication, excuse me, the chemo medication or what it is. But um, definitely losing my voice. The only good thing about having it in this way is you don't get to see all the other stuff that's all around me here. <laughs> but thank you. Excuse me, thanks for coming in, and um, I do have some uh, some of my cinnamon hot tea. I just had to take my steroid, and I went to take the steroid. I probably should have left the lid off my tea. I nearly burned the back of my throat. My goodness. But um, one of the things I found out is because I have a deficit on the right side, um, I don't see things peripherally on the right and I tend to knock everything over. And of course I'm right-handed, so everything goes to the right. So um, I have converted myself back into childhood where I have to have a sippy cup. Unfortunately, um, sippy cup has a straw. And when you knock it over, it spills out anyhow. But it's better than the whole cup of coffee being spilled out all over the table, if you know what I'm saying. So. So let's hope we get some people in here, but um, because you're here, Fran, um, we're not going to wait. We're going to go ahead and get started. And I have some things to share and some projects to make. And uh, I was hoping to get 15, at least 15, so um, I can do my uh, sweet sunflower kit giveaway. But so far, we'll see. We still, we got a couple more weeks. All right. First things first, um, I want to share with you what came in the mail. All I did was take the packaging off so that my name wasn't being shown. Paper pumpkin. I'm excited about paper pumpkin. Um, I'm looking forward to a weekend of crafting. And um, lots of stuff came, so I'll have lots of stuff to craft. Not that I don't have lots of stuff to craft, but anyhow. So if you are watching on YouTube, then you are watching the replay of my Facebook Live, which is normally on Thursdays, but as of today, it um, tentatively will be held on Fridays at 6 p.m. What is today's date? Today is um, Friday, August 18th, 2023, 
and go ahead and type in hashtag replay if you're watching the replay so we know that you were here and uh, we can account for you being here. And um, I'd like to welcome you here. My name is Susan Timchuk and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm also uh, Stitching with Sue over on Facebook and on YouTube and I do machine embroidery projects which very popular, very popular. Okay, so this is the paper pumpkin. It came yesterday. And uh, if you don't know about Paper Pumpkin, it's a monthly subscription box. Everybody and their brothers got a subscription box, but we got the best one. And why is that? Because when you open this box, this box is full of creativity. And what it usually includes is an ink spot. And this always different color. This one is called Pretty Peacock. And this is a returning color. And I'm glad that I got this because I have not yet got all the new colors that come out in the new catalog and this is a way I, I usually sell them but now I'm learning not to to hold on to them but then you know if they sit around a couple years you want new ones right so yeah I just, I just sell them I can't use them in my business once they retire but um, I'm excited to have this because I don't have that in the larger size pad and if you're wondering this is our standard um, ink pad this is our classic stampin pad so if you um, get paper pumpkin and you get a small little ink spot like this and you love the color go ahead and do the investment and get the larger one and then we also have uh, let me just grab one uh, these are little bottles that have the color in them and they're used to re-ink your pads so if you like pretty peacock and you don't want to invest in the large pad go ahead and get yourself one of these re-inkers and you just re-ink it when you notice it's getting too light and uh, you'll have that for a very very long time so definite great way to invest is save these all up, take your paper pumpkin box, put them all in here, you can make a divider, however you want to organize it, whatever you want to do. Um, normally, we get one stamp set in each monthly subscription. We're fortunate this month in that we got two, we got two stamp sets. And this one has beautiful lotus flower, and I could tell that this is a distinctive stamp. And you may be saying, well, what kind of stamp is that? That's a clear stamp. This is called um, uh, photopolymer. And it's distinctive in that if, I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but it, it, when you ink it up, it has fine little details in there. So you don't have to worry about getting any kind of um, special, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, it, it, it defines small little areas. Oh, is it going here this way? And when you ink it up, it has highs and lows in it. And that's what creates, that's why it looks darker in some and lighter in the other. This is the stamp set that would normally come with it. This is just an additional set that you can make your own. And I believe these are lotus flowers or lilies, something lily pads or lotus, whatever, one of those. And this has the words, uh, the verbiage, you are capable of amazing things. And we have your friendship is unforgettable sometimes i have to stop to read to, to kind of focus and make out what it says um you're above the rest and uh did i read them all your friendship is unforgettable and then we have a flower here and a lily pad so those are fun and there's no other way to get these stamps other than in the paper pumpkin so you can collect them then it comes like a gift, all packaged up with tissue paper. I save the tissue paper because, you know, gifts you need along the way in life. You save your paper. You can repurpose it. You can use it in your card design if you want. You can, you know, don't throw, don't throw it away. You know, we're crafters. Take one of your paper pumpkin boxes and um, fold up your um, tissue paper and uh, go ahead and keep them in there. Uh, let me find my scissors. There we are. So here, uh, let me move this over here and put this over the side. Um, here's how it comes. It's called, this one is the August 2023 and it's Meaningful Flowers. And it shows you what the card designs are, um, how they are prepared by Stampin' Up. And let's go ahead and open it up. 
I'm excited to, uh, I did watch, uh, there's a video, if you go to YouTube or if you go to Facebook, check out Paper Pumpkin, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial. You'll also see if you do some searches on Pinterest and um, the Paper Pumpkin Facebook page, they will have samples on there of alternative ideas. And of course, I always like to come up with alternative ideas. I usually make one how it's prepared um, by Stampin' Up! and uh, then I like to venture off the course. So these are the instructions and um, take your crafting to the next level, Stampin' Up! Tools. Oh cool, shows you all the different tools. Now everything you will need to, to create these projects are going to be included in um, this box except you know if you like a special kind of adhesive they usually do have dimensionals and the little um, dots, the little adhesive dots and a pair of scissors probably, paper trimmer if you want that but they are step by step and fully color so you don't even have to read anything if you don't want to you just follow step by step one, two, two different ones and then on the back here it's going to show you exactly what is in your kit here's a QR code you can scan with your phone paperpumpkinhowto.com all the social medias that uh, Paper Pumpkin can be found and a few alternative ideas what else you can do with the kit and the kit contains supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes and it coordinates with the colors uh, bubble bath, crushed curry Garden Green, Melon Mambo, Misty Moonlight, Orchid o Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Tahitian Tide. So you get a nice piece of chipboard if you're into making books and things like that. You can use that for that. You can save it. You can recycle it. You, you do you. You do you. We also have a little bag of some, ter some tape, double-sided tape, and some twine. And in here we have some little embellishments and uh, some uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. And here are the components of the kit. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. So these are single sided. You get four of those. And here are card bases. Look at how beautiful that is. So if you even just do something as simple as this and add some embellishments, you can do that. What a lot of us like to do as demonstrators, we like to uh, cut these in half and make two cards out of one. This one, as you see on the back here, um, it talks about the lotus flower with the strength, re resilience, and wisdom. So you may not want to cut that off or you may want to somehow incorporate that into your card. You do however you want to. So it looks like we have four of those and then, oh my goodness, look at these beautiful envelopes. They already are embellished on the front for you. So we have four of those. And look at the back. The whole inside is lined. So you can cut the envelopes apart and use them to incorporate in your card. You know, we all have envelopes. So why not use these like they're decorative papers? And look at this. Look at how beautiful. So no naked envelopes. You know, how many of us escape and then you think, oh, I forgot to put this, something on the envelope. Well, ooh, look at that. The whole inside is all embellished. That is absolutely beautiful. So we have four of those to coordinate with the cards. Ooh, my goodness, it's getting better. So these are forget-me-not flowers, love, devotion, and memories. And it's pre-scored. Look at that. Wow. I am not disappointed in this month's subscription box at all. So we have four of those. We have some banners. Oh my goodness, look at these punch outs. Aren't these beautiful? I'm telling you, every month Stampin' Up! is just kicking it up. And oh, these are vellum. We have four of those. And we have some beautiful lotus flowers. So. All of that in one kit, ready to go. You know, you're going on vacation. A lot of people are taking vacations, you know, and maybe, you know, you want some downtime from vacation. Grab your paper pumpkin box and take it along. Everything you need is in there. Just maybe you'll need a little um, something to clean your stamps with. I don't know what's interfering here. 
Oh, this way it goes. Okay. Something to clean your stamps with, even just a, a simple towel with a little water on it will clean them because they're, the inks are water-based. So I'm excited about that. Okay, um, so before I forget, this was a paper pumpkin box. This was back um, August 2022, so one year ago, and this was highly, highly popular. I bought a couple of them because sunflowers are my love. And because it's August and it's sunflower month and I love sunflowers, I decided I wanted to do a giveaway this month. Now, the winner of the giveaway I'm not going to ship the box because it just takes too much extra postage for the box, but you will have all the components. Now, if you're local and you want to drop by and you're the winner of it and you want to pick it up, you know, you certainly can take the box and all. But inside here, this is a great gift. Um, you have two ink spots. Let me make sure I have them going the right way. Um, we have soft suede and we have crushed curry. So you have two of them to create your sunflowers. Um, a beautiful sunflower stamp set. There's an extra little gift in here. These little, almost like a beehive -y kind of embellishment. And uh, here's an idea of how to create something fun with your free gift. And um, inside here, I'm not going to open it. There's the tissue paper. I'll give you the tissue paper. And here is the kit to create these. This is absolutely stunning. These are the envelopes. And this, you cannot get it. I mean, it was sold out. Normally, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can get refills. All the refills were sold out. Everything was sold out. It's sold out like hotcakes. So this is very rare. This is a great gift. And if you're interested in winning this gift, all we need to do, the us as a group, is to get 15 plus people to attend one of these Facebook lives this month. It's the month of August 2023. That's all we need to do. So if you're watching on YouTube and you're watching the replay, you got to come here and, and be live. You got to be live and leave comments and share and suggest and and all that kind of stuff. You got to do all that. And I see like nobody's showing up today. I don't know why nobody's here. Am I even on? It says live. So anyhow, that's my giveaway for August. And um, you got to play to win, right? What, what could I say? All right. Next, I thought I would share with you just a few of the new items that I um, had got. A very limited budget anymore, so I kind of get things in dribs and drabs. And as I get things and buy a few things, I will do the unboxing and share them with you. So first thing I want to share with you are, and this was the first thing on my list, these are called, a, these are brand new. Let me get the catalog so I can show you. I can't open the catalog yet um, because it doesn't start till September for customers. But this is the September to December 2023 mini catalog. And all lots of new goodies are in here. And you can notice the, the date has changed. Stampin' Up's doing a little bit of adjusting. Kind of makes it a little easier on us as demonstrators to kind of keep, you know, between the new catalog coming out mini catalogs coming out, Christmas catalogs coming out, winter catalogs coming out, annual catalogs coming out. Lots going on. But in here is, um, it goes from fall, Halloween, to Christmas. And lots of goodies, lots of fun goodies. So I just want to share with you a few things. I wasn't really thinking Christmas yet, but I am. But first, I don't know, I got to do things baby steps. So first thing, Abundant Beauty, item number 162331. Now, as a customer, you can't order these yet. But if you see this and you're like, I need to have that, if you sign on as a part of the Sweet Bee Stampers team, you have access to all these new products because we are right now, as demonstrators, in a pre-order time. So as a demonstrator, we can pre-order from that catalog. But you guys got to wait till September. Now, these are masks, okay? And... Um, there's not going to be much to see right now, but of course I will be doing a demonstration on these, sharing with you, showing you how they work. So let me, I haven't even taken them out of here yet. So how many of you remember stencils? They're stencils, but Stampin' Up's calling them masks. I remember back in, 
oh, the 80s, um, doing stencils on the walls of my kitchen. Of course, what were they? They were sunflowers because I loved sunflowers then. So these are masks, and there's lots of fun things you can do with these. So this is what, like, a, is that called like a hound's tooth? I don't know. I don't know what the thing is. But that wasn't the reason why I got them. The reason why I got them when I saw this, well, of course, this is for all seasons. Look at the beautiful sun uh, uh, snowflakes. And when you see the things you can do with these, it's good. You're 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 good. put them on your list. Put it on your list. Abundant Beauty, sixteen twenty three thirty one. Here's for the fall with the leaves, and it's a nice, heavy, thick plastic. But this is the main reason I got them. This is. Um, well, I guess there's one, two, three, four parts, and it's a sunflower. And if you notice, there's a little notch up here. So you put this down and um, use your uh, brushes, your little uh, blending brushes, and do that part of your sunflower. And then you would do the center. Here's the little notch. So all you're going to do is, and sorry, the sun's coming in the window, but that's okay. We'll take it. A little notch to do your center. And then there's another little notch that you can do your fine detail. And another one to do your leaves. Now you can, you know, if you, if you don't like this detail one, don't do it. If you don't like this center one, then do that. Totally up to you. But these are going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of different things you can do with these. Um, it comes with a little instruction sheet just to kind of tell you that you can spritz, sponge, trace, emboss, and add texture. So these are going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Okay, next up, of course, designer series paper, Stampin' Up! again, knocks it out of the park. This is called All About Autumn. And these are actually taken from photos. So this is All About Autumn, six by six paper, and you get uh, 48, 48 sheets. I'm just going to tuck this in here. I'll fix it all later. But look at this paper. So I believe there's four of each. Four of each sheet. Look at that. Here's the back. It has copper. And here's another one. Texture and more copper. This one is like, it reminds me of taking a walk in Francis Slocum. If you're from the uh, northeastern Pennsylvania area and you live in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area, you know all about um, the beautiful forests we have here in northeastern PA. And this is just like taking a walk down, you know, I mean, it's just amazing paper. Look at that back with that copper. So copper seems to be the thing. And of course, wood backgrounds, you never go wrong with wood backgrounds. And on the back of here, we have like a rose gold copper paper. My goodness. So, you know, if that's not your thing, which I don't know who it isn't, but flip it over. Here's if you're an aerial shot going over the forest with all the different colored trees. And can I just tell you, fall is my favorite time of the year. We seem to kind of pass over fall sometimes, but I'm looking forward to it this year because this heat, bleh. All right, here's the back of that, a beautiful pumpkins. You can't go wrong with pumpkins. And this, if I didn't mention, these are six by six in size. Look at these pumpkins. And on the back, and of course a library. We've got books on a shelf, I believe it goes this way, yes. Books on a shelf, very manly, very, you know, it could go for anyone. Look at the copper. Look at the two of these together. Look at that. That's stunning. Love it. And of course, we got some leaves. And if you're into fall, you're going to love that holiday catalog. I'm just saying, catalogs um, should be arriving if you place an order with me of $50 or more between the month of January and July. I um, paid Stampin' Up! to have a catalog delivered to you. And um, you should be receiving them in your mailboxes now they should be coming look at that upholstery you want to talk about having problems coming up with men men cards mail cards you know look at these oh my goodness and wait yep <laughs> passes the sniff test every time look at that 
And then finally, it looks like we have some more books here, but absolutely beautiful paper and um, something you will definitely want to get. And again, it's called All About Autumn, 16, 21, 78. Check it out in your catalog. And if you want to go with some color that goes with that, we have this beautiful ribbon and it's called Copper and Natural Ribbon Combo Pack. Look at that ribbon. Let me see if I could peek some of this out of here. I like to kind of peek a little bit out so I don't have to take the whole roll apart. Because usually after I do that, I put like a pin in there or you can use a blue dot or something to hold that. But look at that beautiful ribbon. And I would think that this would be able to fray this. It's so soft like butter. And then we have this beautiful copper that coordinates with it goes perfectly with those um, designer series papers and um, let's go ahead and take a look at this and then I will show you, you may say what what is that glow in the dark this is glow in the dark specialty paper six by six and of course you know I won't be able to see it because it's still light time out but um, this paper glows in the dark and you may be saying well so what are you gonna do with that let me show you. We have tons of new designer series paper. The first thing when I open that catalog, well, of course, there's a whole nativity, like three pages of all nativity, manger scene, beautiful for Christmas. That'll be coming. There'll be a, a, a class online with that coming. Um, of course, my classes online are free, unless they're just a small fee to cover um, for supplies or giveaways or things like that. But this one is called Them Bones. And what's the bundle called? Uh, Bag of Bones. Bag of Bones is what? The whole suite of products. And don't worry, you'll be seeing that. But these are those cut aparts. You remember the daisy paper we had with the cut aparts? My goodness, this is so fun. Let's go through the papers. Here we have, uh, it says Boo. Boo, 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 boo. Cute, right? These are 12 by 12 paper. Wait. Yep. Does not disappoint. Look at these skeletons. And there is a stamp set. There are dies. There are little glow in the dark uh, stars and things. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Well, you'll see because I'm, I'm waiting. Things are coming slowly. But there are dies to cut out all these little guys. Or you can use the stamps and make your own. Or you can um, use the dies to do the glow in the dark paper, the glow in the dark DSP. But I love these. And if many of you know, I used to work in an orthopedic office, so these bones are just calling to me. They're just like, yeah, Sue, you need us. And I do. Here's some little tombstones all over background. Look at this. Like, if you're a fall person, this is screaming pumpkin latte, right? Who's sick of pumpkin latte? I'm pretty much sick of pumpkin latte, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Look at these little guys. Oh my goodness, how cute are they? And here's a page of bones. Let me know. Give me some hearts. Show me some love. Do you love this paper? And here, look at this. This is not another one of those. You cut that in half at six and you can get um, six cards out of it. But look at this one, Rickety Bones, Rest in Peace, Jack-O-Lantern, Tomb Sweet Tomb, and Creep It Real. How cute. Oh my goodness. Now, this, look at, can you see what they are? They're little kitty cats. The black is the kitty cat, and then the other one is just almost like the same outline of a kitty cat. And here is some beautiful striped background at an angle. And of course, you can't have Halloween without bats. Bats in your belfry. So isn't that adorable, adorable, adorable paper? Can I tell you? And it's called Them Bones, part of a suite. 162115 is the item number. This is just a little tasting, so to speak tasting of what is to come. And I have one more pack of paper to share with you. 
And there's a whole suite that goes, I believe this one is, it has a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and dies. There's two different bear sets. One has a punch and one has a die. So this one is called Berry Christmas, 162015. And you know, um, my thinking is we all want everything in the catalog, but our budget just, we, we, we just can't. I can't either. I know I'm in the same boat with you guys. So if you invest in some of this designer series paper, maybe if you see the dies, and a lot of the dies have more things in it than just the paper, you know, other things to cut out. Even if you invest in the dies and the paper, you know, I don't want to deter you from buying a stamp set, but you know, you really could save yourself some money. Or if you're like me and you don't mind fussy cutting, just get the paper, get the paper. All right, so let's check out this, these bears. Bears can be winter all year round. They don't have to be Christmas. But here's some bears. Look at this paper. Look at this paper with these bears. My goodness, are they adorable or what? And there's a real, oh, my paper's blown away. There's a real beautiful owl set too. So if you're into like the white owls. And look at this. Look at how adorable these papers are. Show some love. If you like this, if you like what you see, show some love, show some hearts. Let me know. Let me know if you want me to do a class. Something you see, say, oh, can you do a class and do a bunch of different things with it? Of course I can. Of course I can. We'll talk about that. Here's some more. And these aren't bad to cut out. They're pretty good. Now, if you have a scanning cut, you're good to go. You just put that puppy on your scanning cut and it cuts away. You can use a punch. Use a round punch, a square punch, dies to cut them out. Look at this little guy. He's just like sitting there chilling. This one's your mama and little baby bear with a little present. They just, whoever comes up with the papers is just amazing. Here's some trees for a background. And we can't not have snowflakes, right? Snowflakes. This one is adorable with these little paw prints all over. I love, love, love that. And of course, presents. This could be for birthdays doesn't have to be just for Christmas so think outside the box you know don't don't think you know that's just Christmas paper and Christmas is over and I'm done no 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 you're, you're not done all right so that is that so that is my little haul of my first order now if you've been ordering from Stampin Up you may see that there is a little delay with the shipping I'm waiting for a shipment actually I just messaged them today from something from the end of July because we had a little takeover of our um, online store and demonstrator part where they kind of combined it all into one. So there's been a little bit of a delay with the shipping, but it's, it's very much worth it. A few other things I want to go over before we begin with our two projects I have planned. Online exclusives. We have the Truck Along upcoming class that I'm going to be doing on Saturday, um, August 26th. I guess that's next Saturday, 10 o'clock a.m., absolutely free for you to come and enjoy. And we will be working with the, um, the stamp set and the punch with the Truck Along. And you'll, you'll love that. It's 10 o'clock. If you can't make it, no worries. It'll be recorded. It'll be here on Facebook, and then I'll pop it on over to YouTube so you can watch at your leisure. Watch a few times. But there are online exclusive. This item here is sold out. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. But these are items that you will not find in a catalog. Something new Stampin' Up! started doing is doing them online only. So if you see them there, they're available. If you don't see them there, that means they're sold out, gone. If you see them there, but they're just not available to order. That means they're coming back. So the truck punch right now is on back order. I believe it's October 16th. You don't really need to have the punch to create. If you have the stamp set and you don't mind fussy cutting, you can still get away with it. You don't have to have it. Or get the stamp set and when the punch comes in, then get that separately. But these are online only, not found anywhere in a catalog. And of course, the mini catalog, that's upcoming, very exciting. Ready, set, redeem. If you earned any of the $5 coupons during last month, be sure to redeem them by the end of this month. And we are already mid-August. So don't forget, if you spent 
you would have gotten a $5 coupon in an email. All you gotta do is copy and paste that with your order for this month and Stampin' Up! will take off. Now if you did 5, 10, 15, 20, combine them all into one, you could get a whole free order just using those coupons. Okay, next is of course our uh, paper pumpkin and we have a real special, let me turn the page because you won't see anything there. Real special paper pumpkin and right now is what you will be earning, um, well not earning, you would be getting the From the Heart and you make elegant note cards and treat boxes with this paper pumpkin kit as cute gifts for someone special. So here's a sneak peek to show you. Look at the beautiful box. Look at how beautiful. Now, if note cards aren't your thing, convert them into regular standard cards. You know, you can do that. There's also an add-on, which if you're a note taker, you love taking notes, there is a $15 add-on Thoughts of the journal get this fun and functional add-on while supplies last and it coordinates with that nice place to keep track of upcoming holiday events or notes or whatever it is you want to keep track of and it's absolutely beautiful look at the gold clips stunning 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 and was that it oh and don't forget right now during the month of August we are having our kit sale and the kits are from 10 to 30 percent off and this is uh, kit collections so you just go online and search in the online store for kit collections and some of them are like ten dollars eleven thirteen dollars like you can get a whole kit and it reminds you of like a paper pumpkin kit a whole kit everything you need to complete um, there's a beautiful tag kit that um, just came out and um, it, it's on my list so if I get it I'll be uh, showcasing it. And these are to make little tags for the holidays. You can't beat it. They're called Festive Tag Kit. And uh, I don't know, I want to say they're maybe $13 that you get everything you need to make these beautiful tags. So if you're not, tags aren't your thing, turn them into a card. There's no one saying that that's what you have to do. So I believe that is all the housekeeping kind of stuff like that. Oh, and I will be doing an unbagging. Um, I like to support other YouTubers. So this was someone that um, a friend, another YouTube friend said, you know, here's a new gal. She's looking to get some new people on her channel. So maybe you could help out too. Her name is Sheila Allen and her YouTube channel is Country Girl First Crafts. She's from uh, North Carolina, and uh, she was doing a giveaway. And guess what? Ah, I won. And look at the package that I won. So and it's just filled with all kind of paper crafting, scrapbooking stickers, and and I'm gonna do an unbagging on this. But I told my daughter Michelle that um, she can have this because she she does lots of scrapbooking with the boys, and now with Delilah, she's got the girl. But. I was the lucky winner of this huge bag with all these goodies, but there'll be a special video on that coming out so you can see what all the wonderful goodies are that are included in there. Let me get a drink. And let me see if I missed any. Oh, we got a couple more people on here. Let's see who's here. Nancy, hello, hello, welcome. You got yours. Kathy, hello, sorry to be late. Well, better late than never. Uh, love the cats. I know. How fun. All right. Well, you're just in time. You didn't miss a thing. Well, all the blah blahs, you know, maybe, you know, a lot of people, they fast forward through the blah blahs, right? Nobody wants that. All right. So tonight it's Friday fun day, Friday fun night, right? What did I call it? I don't remember what I called it. And I saw this in the catalog the first time I opened it and I thought, oh my goodness. If there isn't anyone in this world that loves pizza as much as I love pizza, I saw this guy and I thought, I need him in my life. And then, you know, it was kind of like, oh, no, I need that, I need that, I need that. Well, when we were having our big 15% uh, off stamp sale, I got him. Because you know what? I need him in my life. And it might not be something for everyone, but you know what? It's fun. And... Think of all the other stamps that you have that you can incorporate with this. So right here, so, okay, he's a pizza man. 
Okay, eliminate the pizza, put a birthday cake there, put a paper pumpkin box there, put, I don't know, throw them out. You, you know, you, you guys, you know, put a little, that he's holding his dog, he's holding a statue, he's holding his wife because she's his trophy. I don't know, you know. Um, but I just thought there's so many other things you can do. He can be a bakery chef. He can, you know, he can be an artist. It's not saying he has to be a chef. But supremely awesome. And, you know, there's no dies, there's no punches, there's no nothing. It's just him. And look at the sayings. Together we make a deluxe combo. You're supremely awesome. You got pizza in my heart. Now, I don't really know who I would send any of the cards with those, but you could do happy birthday, you could do best of luck, you could do, you know, you could put a little cake, a uh, wedding cake on there. You don't have to do pizza, okay? It's photopolymer, it's beautiful. This checker alone, this checker stamp, look at the size of that. My goodness. When I started playing, I had so much fun. It was, uh, and you know, I fussy cut them out because, you know, that's my thing. I like doing that. Um, it helps me a lot with my therapy with my hands because I have sometimes have issues with the right my right hand cutting and love it so I thought you know what we're gonna do pizza night so tonight is gonna be pizza night and we got to think of a name for this guy I don't know Luigi I don't know somebody come up with a name and um, that that'll be his name but look at the little pizzas and we have a little spoon and spatula I'm telling you if you like to cook, bake, bleh, bleh, pizza, eat pizza, whatever, that's for you. That's for you, baby. All right, so let's see. Um, let's do this fancy schmancy one first. Um, I was watching, because you know I watch other YouTubers, I was watching uh, Karen Titus, and I saw this idea she was using with something else, and I thought, you know what? My pizza man would be perfect for that. So let me show you the card. And, you know, I'm, I'm using what I have. Uh, we're, we're all on a budget, but look at this card. O M G. Look at this guy. And when you open it up, there he is. And who remembers these little houses? So I already have the less shop. So why not make it into a, a pizza card? So you may be wondering, well, Sue, where did you get all those other things? Well, you know, a lot of times I sell everything, right? I'm starting to double guess myself. Hold on here. What am I going to do with that? Don't worry, it's not going to be another one of those nights where Sue can't find anything. I hope not. <laughs> so, um, I was like, I hope I didn't sell it. I hope I didn't sell it. And look, I did it. This retired. It's called What's Cooking? How perfect is this to go with my pizza man? Isn't it? So this came with all these dies. I thought there were dies that cut out these little things, but I don't know. I don't, have, I don't see them in here. Maybe there aren't. So I, I'm so I'm, I am double. I'm going through the things I was selling because I have a whole bunch of stamp sets for eight bucks that I need to find homes for. So if you're looking for anything, go to my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, I always forget it. Um, Stitching with Sue because there's a lot of things. There's only four things that sold and one woman wanted something and she never got back. But I'm gonna incorporate what I have that retired, because why not? You guys have them too. But how perfect is that to go together with the cooking? Mm -hmm. That's where, So that's where all these little doodaddy things came from. So the dyes with the little paddle, the little, there's salt and pepper, there's whisks, there's a knife, there's a rolling pin, spatula, I'm so excited that I have it. And then I started looking through all the other ones. I'm like, I'm not getting rid of that one. I'm not getting rid of that one. <laughs> so, so I'm not. But there are a lot that are brand new. And um, before I forget, I have upcoming classes. So I have, next weekend is the truck class. So that is August, September, August, September. September is going to be the bingo. Let me, let me explain the bingo before I get into this because then I venture off and I forget. Um, the bingo, I reduced the price to only $10. The $10 is gonna cover the cost of shipping of your prize and your little goodies, okay? So I'm not like sending a whole class. I changed everything, I thought about it, and I thought, you know what, everyone's on a budget, nobody has extra money. Holidays are coming. I want to save you money. 
but I want to, you know, not have to fork out from my pocket a whole lot either. So the bingo will be four bingo games. I will have tons of stuff. You get to pick what you want, new products. Um, not maybe not current but new product but something that maybe you missed out on that you didn't get um, there'll be stamps and dies and papers and lots of things you choose what your prize is so for four games what you need to do is to PayPal me um, all the information is here on Facebook as Tim track at PTT.net please send it as friends and family so I don't get penalized because otherwise PayPal takes like three bucks you know because they got to have their in it, you know. So send this friends and family and um, let me know that it's for the bingo and if you could pay beforehand that'd be great. And you need to pick um, five numbers between 1 and 25 so have those ready and posted here on Facebook. There'll be four games. You'll get to pick the prizes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everyone is going to have a great time. It's going to be uh, Saturday Oh, well, you'll see the date, Saturday, September. It's usually the fourth Saturday of the month. That's I've been trying to keep it consistent at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, must be present to win. Now, um, someone did contact me and say, well, what if I want to I want to be a part of it, but I, I'm not going to be able to make it. Can somebody play for me? Hey, if you want someone to play for you, you know, and somebody says, yeah, I'll do it, then that's fine by me. You know, just let me know. And you're responsible for the numbers. So, and then afterwards, if the person that isn't here but wanted to play, um, then they'll just have to pick from what prizes are left. You know, you first come, first serve. Okay. So I hope all that makes sense. If you have questions on that, go to the events here on Facebook, and it's posted there. Um, and then October is going to be uh, the uh, Halloween one with those bones because you got to do bones, right? October, you got to do, you know. And I believe I put that at the beginning of the month. I don't want to wait too late for that. So that one is probably not the fourth, but check it out. So check on your events. I'm always trying to add things. Everything is done virtually, so it's from home. So, um, yeah, the bingo is the only one that there's a fee for because of the fact that, you know, there's prices and shipping and whatnot. The other stuff, you may get a little goodie something from me in the mail, you know, but, um, okay. So, if that all makes sense, let me just scroll through here real quick. Vinny, the pizza man, I like that. Do you know Vinny? <laughs> Love her and her husband. Oh, wait, let me go back because I'm out of sync here. Uh, yeah, and if you missed the very beginning, I went through my small, teeny weeny unboxing, my first unboxing. I'm ordering things in little tiny batches of, to make it affordable for me. Because I don't have a lot of money, you know. I'm not working. I don't have a lot of money. Um, let's see. Okay, who did I miss? Uh, hi, Jenny. Welcome. Betty, hello. You're here for a bit. That's fine. You can watch the replay. Jerry loves pizza. Breakfast and lunch. Dinner. Hey, Jerry is my guy. I think we should call this guy Jerry then because, you know, I would eat pizza 24-7 too, except, you know, my carbs and my sugar, but, you know. All right, Vinny the Pizza Man. I like that. That's cute. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You know I'm here 24-7. Sue's always here, you know. <laughs> she don't go nowhere. <laughs> All right, let me see if I'm going to burn my tongue again on my hot, spicy tea. Oh, yeah, that's so hot. <clears throat> but I feel like I'm losing my voice. Okay, so here's the first card we're going to do. Now, of course, I only did one of these, and I did it last week. So we'll see if Sue's going to remember how to put it together. If not, it'll be what it'll be. But isn't that cute? How many of you have the, um, the less shops? Um, the ribbon that I'm incorporating is called Cotton Ribbon Combo Pack. Not sure if this is available or on clearance rack. Don't forget clearance rack, those of you. Demos and customers. There are a lot of great things on there. You can grab them. Grab them and go. Grab them and go. And I'm trying to get organized. Um, my mind is working <laughs> with steroids. So I hope I have everything. Last week I felt I was like total disaster. I got done and I said to Michelle, oh my God, I thought I was like... Terrible, terrible disaster, but it, eh, it is what it is, right? So, how much does Sue like fussy cutting? This is how much she does. I sat and I just cut these papers and die, oh, excuse me, die cut these papers. 
I had some chicken with onion soup mix. My goodness, that was a wonderful um, recipe. Very simple. A little butter in the bottom of the pan, and you take your chicken breasts and you slather them with mayo and dip them in breadcrumbs and onion soup mix and um, put them in the pan and bake it. And can I tell you, you do it like 20 minutes, turn them over 10 minutes, and it was the most crispy, delicious chicken. The only thing was it was very salty. So I know I use unsalted butter, and I'm thinking the onion soup mix must have been a little salty, but it was delicious. Now I'm thinking, wow, what else can I... Okay, never mind. We're, we're stamping, but it was delicious. But it's, you know, the onions. I'm going to have to get some Tums or something or Pepsi or whatever. Okay, so here's my little packet of all my little things that I cut out. Now this little paddle thing... Again, these are with the dyes. I took a little um, dauber and added some color to that. But look at the texture of that. It's great. All these little thingies. Got them all cut out, lampposts, whatnots. So let's see if Sue remembers how this goes together. So this is the Less Shops paper. Okay? And you can see, oh, I got some color on there. Um, so I took notes, lots of notes. So again, this is from Karen Titus. She's a demonstrator, I don't know, is she in Minnesota? Or I don't know, one of those M places. Um, so it's 12 by 12 DSP. She did this with that uh, bones paper, and it was so fun. I'm gonna do that for, the, for my grandkids, because they think they would love that. Um, but I thought, you know what, I didn't have that, because I just got that the other day. So 12 by 12 paper, and it's cut at four and a quarter. So it's four and a quarter by 12. And then on the left-hand side, you score at one inch. Okay, so there's one inch that's scored there. And then you score at um, four and a quarter. So that's what's going to um, give you your, your little card design, I think. Hold on a second. Okay, like that. No, wait, hold on, hold on, because I know that there was something really funky with this when I was doing it. Let's see. Like I said, I did this a while ago. This way and that way. There we go. And then what I want to do is I'm going to cut off that little piece, or you can go ahead and score that little piece on the end there. So let me get my paper trimmer. Let me paper trimmer. Paper trimmer. I just got done saying, y'all, Sue has everything ready, and she knows where everything's at. Well, maybe not. Okay. So what we want this to be is five and a half. Okay, so five and a half is going to, because you want it, you want it to be uh, four and a quarter by five and a half to fit in the envelope. Now you can fold this back. You could score this and fold it forward if you want. Fold it back. But I think I'm just going to cut it off. Just cut it. Cut it off. And there you go. You got that. You can incorporate that somewhere in your card if you choose, right? All right. I know it looks different than that one, but we'll, we'll work it. We're going to work it. We'll get that going. Did I fold that backwards? Maybe I'll fold that backwards. Huh, I don't remember. Whatever. Okay. So there we go. Let me get that out of the way. We'll do something with that. Okay. So here is our card. So I incorporated um, some of the small pieces. And let's see. So we have, I think this is Calypso Coral, three and a quarter square. This piece is three by three. So we're just going to go ahead and start gluing this puppy together. And uh, yeah, it'll work out. You know, the one thing with stamping is it doesn't have to be perfect. You do you. You do what makes you happy. If it doesn't turn out, you know, exactly how you want it to be, that's okay. So this is going to go on the front. Well, I'm just let me, let me see here. I want to do that. I could do that, but that opens that... Yeah, that would be opening for a left-hander. 
Come on, Sue, just get your crap together. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know how I cut that, but anyhow. Okay, so we have a couple strips here. Um, we have this blue one. Well, I could put it here. Let's do that, right? Why not? Let's do that. Let's put a strip here. Maybe this go here. what I did there. I think I did a little bit wider. I think when I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. All right. Let's glue this down. Let's not overthink this too much, Sue. Let's just, let's just glue it together. So I hope you're all having a great Friday. Um, so you may be wondering, well, Sue, uh, I thought you were here Thursdays. Well, normally, yes, yes, I am here Thursdays, but, um, my uh, son's girlfriend, she uh, changes the uh, rays for my uh, cancer treatment that I wear on my head. And um, they bought a camper. So um, they're going to be going camping. So she asked if it'd be okay if we um, would change the dates from Fridays when she would normally change the arrays to um, change it to um, Thursdays. I'm going to put some glue down for this change it to Thursdays and um, Mondays and I mean it doesn't matter to me as long as I have you know a couple days and um, so yeah they would they went camping they bought a uh, re, I don't want to say retired they bought a, a pop-up camper and this was their first venture and I was so excited for them you know because they're like two little kids you know like this little camper that um, that they bought pop-up and uh, so they were going with some of their friends and they have the German short hair dogs and they were taking the uh, Sarge and Hank and uh, friends of them, they, friends of them, they have a, um, a truck camper, you know, like those uh, campers that they put, Ricky said is on a back of a truck that they, I don't know, however that goes. I don't know. I don't know that stuff. But, um. So they were excited. They were going tonight, and then um, Labor Labor Day weekend, they're um, booking to uh, to have another uh, camp out. But yeah, they just got it, and uh, I'm just so excited for them because they were like, you know, it's fun. I remember camping growing up. I don't know how many of you, if you're campers or not, but um, growing up, we didn't have a whole lot of money. And, you know, back in the day, people didn't go on all the vacations like they do now. You know, everybody was kind of laid back and did simple things. And, well, we did anyhow. Maybe, you know, other people went on fancy vacations, but we didn't. Um, my family had a budget, and we, we lived by the budget. We would go and do, my, my mother was always the fun planner. She would always uh, plan picnics. Uh, we'd go out to, I'm going to struggle here with this bow. Um, we go out to Francis Slocum, and you know, I always laugh because I tell my kids and they look at me and they think, what? Um, we weren't the typical camping family. My mother was the type, and we have pictures, and I and I could I could still see the pictures in my head because I, I have all the pictures after she passed. And my mother would be the one that comes with the white pot. Um, what is that pot called? You guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. The white enamel pot. She would come with that white enamel pot, and we would have spaghetti. We wouldn't be like normal people that would have hamburgers and hot dogs. We would have spaghetti because, you know, spaghetti was cheap. And, you know, that's, that's what we had. So, <laughs> so, so funny. You know, we'd go camping, and, you know, they'd be having spaghetti and meatballs, and, you know. and um, Back in the day, you used to be able to, uh, I'm just going to put this here on the front. Um, you used to be able to rent campers. You'd rent a camper and, um, you know, you, you would use it. We'd go out to, uh, one of the big places we would always go would be like Shadowbrook out in the Tunkhannock area. Those of you from the area, you, mo you will be very much aware of that place. We'd go out there and we'd have this little pop-up camper. And then my, my parents, I don't know if I like that. Maybe, maybe I'll do a strip of this. We'll see. Um, 
Look at that. How fun. Would that fit on here? Oh, yeah, it would. Let's see. Um, the, we would park all the way down the ends of a campsite, and they had a pool. They had a little store that you can go to. we take our bikes, and we'd ride our bikes down um, to the store to get, like, you know, candy or ice cream or whatever. And uh, the river was there. Out on Awanda, we used to go back in the Harding area, and uh, and then my parents went from renting, then they bought a pop-up camper, and then they graduated to a um, a hard side, small hard side camper, which was left there until the flood came, and then well, I think on Awanda they ended up selling it. It was, ended up being more of a private campground, and well. But it was fun because we, the camper would stay there and all you'd have to do is pack up your stuff, you know, your belongings, your food, your personal things that you would need for the weekend, jump in the car and drive there for the weekend and it was, you know, not too far and uh, we'd have a good time. Yeah, I like that. You guys like that? Okay, so let's see. I did ahead of time, I believe, and maybe I didn't do. No, I know I did the pizza man. He did lots of pizza men. Lots of pizza, pizza. Thought I had them. I'm gonna put my pizza men. I think these are all houses. Pizza, pizza. And anyhow, it was fun, and I'm sure they're gonna have a great time. Well, maybe I don't have a pizza man. Let me see. Hold up. Here's our pizza. Pizza, pizza. So here's, look at all my pizza men that I made. I couldn't decide what color. What color jacket should you have? But they're so fun. Look at little spoons, pizzas. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see which pizza man we want. And, uh, you help me decide which pizza man should go on here because this was this was my therapy when I wasn't feeling good. Oh, he looks like he has a stick foot. Oh, I'm sorry, pizza man, your foot got cut off. Okay, so we got navy, we got red, we got minty. Yell out if you see a color that you like. We got... Um, another red that I didn't cut the crotch out. I don't know, is that a bad word? We got some greenery. I'll go through them and then you guys decide. We got uh, gray. We got orange. Oh, I'll say pumpkin pie. We got, did I have fun with this guy or what? I need to make cards and send them out. Blue. All right, what do you guys think? Let me gather these over there. What's, what's your suggestion of the pizza man for the front of my card? Now don't forget, we do have the Calypso Coral. So let's see, there's a little. And we will need one for the inside too. So second guess will be inside. Orange. I love that color. You can make this pizza man whatever you want it to be. You can make, you know, oh my goodness, you know what you can do? You can do a whole bunch of pizzas and stack them up like he's a stacking pizza man. Really? Okay. Everybody leave? Gray pants, red apron. Gray pants. Where the heck is gray pants, red apron? Oh, this one. Gray pants, red apron. Okay, all right, let's see what we got red. Your brother sent a lot of a pizza shop and drums. Oh, I need to send you some pizza cards. Red, we really enjoy glamping. <laughs> oh, Kathy, I'm with you there. Hey, I'm talking back when I was a kid when I used to lay on the ground in a tent. Right now, if I laid on the ground in a tent, you would have to call the EMTs to get me up off the ground. I'm telling you, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> Blue pants, red, navy, gray, red. Looks like we got a variety. Well, let's see. Is there any that were double blue, navy? Well, blue and navy are kind of the same. Okay, so blue and navy. So here's blue, here's navy. So we'll pick one of those for the outside. 
let's do this guy for the outside and then then we'll decide for the inside you know Nancy I always see you posting that pizza thing pizza shop out in Mount Top that's a relative of yours oh my goodness and thank goodness I don't live in Mount Top or I'd probably be 500 pounds because I would eat pizza Monday Tuesday well every day of the week I would eat pizza every just knocked my thing over. Every day of the week, I would eat pizza, and then I would have a breakfast, lunch, and supper. So, okay, so we'll put this pizza man here, and then, of course, he has to have his little paddle. Let me get these out of here, all my little pieces. I didn't want to lose any of my pieces. This was, this was therapy. This is my therapy, cutting all these out. Good therapy. Good therapy. Okay, so we'll put this guy here. I'm gonna glue him down. I'm gonna commit. And you know what I'm gonna do for his uh, pizza? All right, let's tuck him in here. Um, I'd like to put a dimensional, but I didn't get my dimensionals. That's part of that order that I'm waiting to come because I. Like, who runs out of dimensionals? I should steal it from my, um... Oh, hold on, let me pick this thing up, because I'm running it over my chair. All my dice fell over. Oh, dear. Oh. Um, do I have any? Oh, you know what? I probably have those sticks. I need dimensionals severely. And I just had those. There they are. I'm gonna have to use these. But yeah. I normally um I love pizza and of course you know you all know I don't drive. So um I usually order from Domino's, and I know it's probably not the best, but, you know, they're like 30 minutes and they're here. I'm going to use a piece of this dimensional and put it behind my pizza. So the pizza's kind of like, it's a little bit high. Well, I don't really like that. Where's that other piece I cut? I hope that order comes. It's coming mail innovations. Those of you that order from Stampin' Up, if you ever have orders that come with mail innovations, they stink because it's from July. Well, it probably didn't get shipped until the beginning of August. Okay, so Pizza Man, um, we're gonna put down our little, you should let me know what their, um, what you, their address is, Nancy. I'll send them a pizza card. <laughs> or Nancy, you should get this set and you can make them some pizza cards. They can use to give out, you know, if they give out any kind of little gifts and things for customers. Okay, so we got that. Um, so let's embellish with these little doodaddies. We got a little tomato here. A little tomato. And uh, let's see what else we got. There's another tomato. I don't know if we want more than one tomato. Um, I think these are garlic, I think. Garlic? Maybe. I know this thing looks like a celery. It could be. I don't know. People, people don't put celery on their pizza, but hey, whatever. We'll decorate it. We'll pretend it's something else. All right. Oh, Miss, Do Miss Dory's up here. Hi, Miss Dory. How you doing? Put that there. Okay, so before I forget, there's my little saying. Here it is. You have to use these strips again. They're a little bit thick, a little bit high, but I don't know where. Are these dimensionals? Hold on. The other morning I was up at, you know, all night long. 
I have some, well these are strips too. I guess I can use that. And I was organizing things. And I looked at the clock and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's four o'clock in the morning. I heard birds tweeting and I'm like, why are the birds tweeting? It's four o'clock in the morning. So I kind of organized things. When I went to the doctors this week, um, he, I said about the steroids because they have me on every six hours I take a steroid. That's why I had to wait to do six o'clock so I could take my steroid. He said, I bet you're getting a lot of cleaning done. And I said, ooh, I'm up all night. My neighbors, you know, well, my neighbors know that I'm sick, but they're probably like, if they didn't, they would think that, you know, I, I was on drugs, which, well, I guess sort of technically I am, but okay. So you're supremely awesome. That's what I would tell my pizza man. You are awesome. All right, so that's that. And we can see whatever else we're going to add. Okay, so now for the inside, let's open up our inside. So we're going to need our other pizza man. Which, which one were we going to do? We do a navy. Oh, no, we did the navy in there. Let's see. Well, we'll decide on the pizza man. Oh, here we go. We'll put him there that. Like that. So let's see, one, two, three. I did three. Okay. And I raised these up too. Of course I did. I probably that's when I probably used up all my dimensionals. What did I do with them? I don't know. I'm gonna have to start something to say, where is it? And then it'd be like, Well there it is, I found it, and then you know. Have like a beer and every time I do that get take a drink found it take a sip <laughs> oh I want to do the little street on the bottom okay so I have this and I'm gonna put this down on the bottom like this is the street okay but look at the inside this is the DSP that has like at the street level you know isn't that fun so if you can't afford anything else get the DSP which stands for Designer Series Paper. DSP. So sit down when you're watching TV, you're watching television, cut out a bunch of your little thingies, put them in a little baggie, get them all nice and organized. And when then when you want to create, you're good to go. See how good Sue's gonna cut this. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay, so there's our street. Alright, so let's do our houses. Alright, so we will put, and like I said, these this is not my favorite adhesive for these. This is like way too thick, but you work with what you got. So we'll put a little house here. Well, shop. I always call them houses. A little shop here. This is shop of horror. <laughs> and so, uh, you could put this one. You could like tuck that underneath. You don't have to raise them all up. Actually, now I want pizza. Although I don't really feel hungry, but. Oh, I didn't want to put it that. Let me see if I can move that. This is like right on the street. I want to be able to see the street. There we go. Okay, let's fix that. So does anybody have any plans for the weekend? It's supposed to be a nice weekend here in Pennsylvania. We had torrential storms last night. My goodness, I slept like a baby. Here's a little lamp post. So I wonder if I should do, eh, no, I'll just do liquid glue. I'll just get glue all over my fingers. It was like, cause you know, like monsoon, monsoon rains. Right, 
this, I'm going to have to fold that little store there. It came down so heavy. When I looked outside, it was like, wow. I thought it was in like a tropical rainforest. But it really cooled things off. Today was like beautiful here today. I have just like the fans going. Okay, little lamp post. I'm losing all my little pieces here. All right, let me go in the shops, find some. I've got all these little, now this uh, Les Shops comes with a stamp set and also the DSP where you can stamp these little pots and uh, I lost my little strips here, teeny tiny, I just need a teeny tiny strip. But, um, but I've been embroidering, I had a, uh, I had made these, uh, they're so adorable, these little sun, sun, um, like sunshine faces, like little sun faces that are coasters. And I had sent one to someone. So she messaged me and she said, oh, you think you can make me five of them? I want to give them, put them in cards for people as gifts. And she's like, I'll pay you for them. Oh, all right. Yeah, I could do that. Next thing I know, she messages me and she says, oh, you think you can make 25 of them? I'm like, 25? I'll pay you for it. All right. So I'm in the process of making 25 of them. And uh, that's a project. It is a project. So I'm up to, I don't know if I have 10 of them. And then I ran out of materials, um, out of a stabilizer for my machine. So I had to order that, so i take a little reprieve. But um, I have two embroidery machines. I have an old one, an old used one that I bought secondhand. So I got that one running, and I got the other one running. And she doesn't need them till, um, she says she's gonna use them in Christmas card, Christmas gifts, in their cards. But, um, I don't like to, if somebody like orders something, you know, like that, I don't like to wait because, you know, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. So, all right. So we got to decide a pizza man, a pizza man. No, he, he needs something more bold. Well, I don't know about that one either. Okay, let's do him. So we're going to put him here. What we say his name's going to be? Vinny? Vinny? Vinny the Pizza Man? But I remember years ago they came out with a, a stamp set that was a chef. I don't know. I may still have it. He was cute. There was a guy I dated years ago. And he looked like this guy. And he looked like the other guy. I didn't keep it because it looked like the guy. I kept it because I like the <laughs> I like the whole chef thingy. All right, there's a pizza man, a pizza, and then you can embellish this however however you want. But what I did, all right, let me let me tidy some of this up. There's like a lot of crap here. Let me get the pizza man out of the way. Okay, houses, houses, pizza, pizza. All right. So, um, what I did was, um, you got a pizza in my heart, and another thing you can do, if you didn't want to give that, you could have them hold a little pizza sign. Look at that. You could do pizza sign, right? You could just, you know, you, the sky's the limit, folks. What could I tell you? you? You could do what you want to do. All right, pizza man over there. Pizza man to the right. Pizza man to the left. We got some pizza here, pizza there. Oh, you know what I wanted to put? I had any of the little chairs. 
umbrella and chairs. That'd be fun. These little signs. I have umbrella and chairs. Oh, here's a little sign. All right, here's a little sign. We'll put this outside the store. And here comes my dog. She has been barking. Oh my goodness, this dog has been barking. There's a dog up the street that's been barking. I don't know, is it like barking dog week or something? What if maybe we should put like, you know, that he, let's, let's glue these little thingies on him. His little spoon, maybe in his hand. Well, I don't think the glue came out. Go lay in your bed. You hear me? Go lay in your bed. Oh, all right. We'll lay on the floor. You can do that too. Okay. All right. So what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out these words. Because I, I kind of want to just, you know, have it like my sample that I did, like where, you know, you just kind of have it long ways. Do a little bit of fussy, fussy. Now I kind of know why I don't usually put a white paper where I'm working because everything gets like lost. Can't find anything on this white paper pumpkin thing. How many of you got your paper pumpkin? Oh my goodness, I did an unboxing of that the first thing in this um, video. So if you missed it, um, the one for... Uh, September is beautiful and they have an add-on little um, notebook which is absolutely stunning and it's something that was put out by uh, Shelly so we know if Shelly did it then it's top-notch elegante okay all right so we're gonna put pizza and we're gonna oh where'd that go uh, you got it. You got a. What does it say? You got a. You got a. What? You got a. Oh, you got. You got a my heart pizza. Now, why does that not make sense to me now? Does that make sense to you all? So you can decorate this as much or as little as you want. Play around with it. You got a, uh, that's like stupid. You got a, uh, my heart. You got a, my heart. Oh, maybe like that. You got a, my heart. You know, I'm Polish. I'm not Italian. So maybe I, that's why I didn't get that. You got a, my heart. Pizza. <laughs> My heart, it's a little fan running. It's so nice out. Oh, look, here's a little, there's a little escapee. Use your bone folder, Sue. Okay. So what do you think? See, there's a little table and chairs you can put. All the, the lamp posts we put. There's a little sign you can put for books. I want to gather all this up though off to the side so we can clean this up. But what do you think? You guys like that card? Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. I like it. And then here was my sample. So cute. So cute. Love them.
So all you pizza people, go get your Vince or Luigi or, you know. Oh, well, you know, we can't do this without having a slice. Need a slice of pizza. Now that look weird. All right, never mind. Okay, let me let me tidy this desk mess. Here's my tray. I'll just scooch it in my tray. And then we'll do the next one. I hope you guys liked it. Give me some hearts. Show me some love. Oop, I just put my thing on. Okay, I need this. Okay. All right, I think we got that one. All right, next up, one more card. Only doing two anymore because I, I talk too much. I was always told I talk too much. That's why he divorced me. He said, because I talk too much. Really? Well, good luck with that. Okay. Ah, oh, that tea is so yummy. Okay, next card. Of course, you know, we can't not do red. So, um, here's our next card. You got a piece of my heart. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> You got a piece of my heart. Piece of my heart. And then together we make a deluxe combo. Isn't that cute? Okay. You got a piece of my heart. You got a piece of my heart. Alrighty, cake people. Okay. So our, now I found this when I was doing my cleaning. So uh, I don't know where or when it came from, but. So we have our card base, a basic white. Dirty basic white, Dati Dati's. Bone folder. We have a piece of basic black, four by five and a quarter. And I didn't fold this good. Let me redo this. So let me know, do you guys like Friday night? Does Friday work? I just wanted to do this so much, so badly, that I'm like, I didn't want to wait till next week. I mean, you keep it at Fridays if it works. Had, there was a lot of suggestions of different days. Everybody has, you know, a day that works for them. Um, I ran the um, real red piece of what will be a, a quarter of an inch smaller than the last one through this embossing folder. It's called Exposed Brick 3D Embossing Folder. And I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, and I absolutely love this. I, I was upset when they got rid of the brick one, but you know what? This is fun. Um, I'm not sure if you could see it. And you can use either side. So it kind of has little brickwork, but then, you know, it looks like the outside of a building. I like that. And I want to add a little bit of embellishment to it. So I'm going to use crumb cake. And um, I'm going to use one of our blending brushes. So blending brushes, you just lightly go over the ink, go off your paper, and just blend a little bit of color kind of makes it look distressed like an old outside building. I love that look. And of course, some areas will be a little bit darker than others because that's just how things go. So now that is the raised side, what it looks like. If you're so inclined to do the other side, you can do the other side and use that instead. Then it kind of goes down in the shallow part. Another thing you can do is you can also go along the edge and be living on the edge. Just to kind of distress the outside of the building. It does a lot. It really adds a lot to your card. Okay. Then what I did, let me close this up. 
as you know, I, I think I use these every single week. These are the Stylus Shape dies, and I took the um, second, maybe the second or the, the largest circle. Let me see. The second to largest circle, and I did a red one and a green one because I'm going with the um, Italian pizza colors and a white one. And what I'm going to do with that is I am going to layer those one on another. And again, I'm not Italian, but I know that those are the colors. Saw it. I saw it online. Read it online. So this will pick up. You see, we did our background. Whoop, let's move that over. This will pick up because the background is a little bit darker. Otherwise, it probably would blend right in. So we're just going to layer those one on top of another, and they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we will wrap that, well, glue that, and then wrap it. And when you're using a, the, from the embossing folders, you want to use a, a heavy liquid glue so that it goes in all like like the English muffins. It goes in all the little nooks and crannies and captures. Otherwise, you know, it'll if you use the tape runner, it may just kind of not want to adhere so well. All right, turn that over. A little rub, 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 dub, and a dub, and a tub. All right. Then I'm going to use up this, which was probably from a paper pumpkin. And I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to use it all up, so. Because this was the second one, so I, don't, I really don't know where it came from. But, you know, even if, it re if it's retired, you know. I used to be like, oh, I can't use that. It's retired. Well, why not? Oh, this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Maybe I'll go this way instead. That other one must have had more on it. There we go. Tie a knot. Separate that a little bit. There certainly is a lot of traffic out there. I can hear them going across the bridge. Okay, so let's do a little bow. You have like glue all over. Hold on a sec. Uh. One of the things of going in and out of the hospital is getting a lot of uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> and if you do get like glue on your hands, just use a little hand sanitizer. That'll help. I have hand sanitizer everywhere. I'm actually getting a shipment tomorrow because um, every time I walk by something, I'm already hand sanitizer. Anybody that comes over hand sanitizer. I don't need to get any other anything. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and glue that to here. But otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I started my round of chemo um, yesterday. Last night was the second night, so I take it for five days, and then I have 28 days off, and then if all my blood levels are good, then I go to um, the next round. There's supposed to be six rounds of them, so I'm currently on my fifth round of chemo. And I go for my MRI in two weeks to see how things are going with that. All right, so here's our little pizza man. And we're gonna put him there. They lowered my dosage of chemo because they felt it was um, too rough on my system. And uh, they just thought that uh, 
you know, they should lower the dose because, because my levels were not good. They were too high. And if they're too high, then you can't do the chemo. All right. So let's see. Oh, I put that other sign on there. I don't have that sign, though. Probably in the other thing. But we'll do some. We'll do some. Some, some. Change things up. Together we make a deluxe combo. So what do you guys like on your pizza? I, my favorite pizza. I think I did this on the inside. Yep. I did it on the inside. My favorite pizza would be to do that. I like Hawaiian. I like Hawaiian pizza. So you could have one where he's holding like the big rolling pin. There's just so many things you can do with this. I like Hawaiian pizza. I like meathead pizza which is all like uh, little meatballs, pepperoni, sausage. Um, I don't like um, no mushrooms. I do not like mushrooms. No, 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 no. Let's put a couple, speaking of pizzas, let's put a couple pizzas. Mushrooms are not my friend. I was talking to, uh, when the grandkids were over on the weekend, <clears throat> we were talking about pizza and we ended up getting Chinese, and oh my goodness, I was dying for Chinese. I couldn't tell you how long it's been that I have wanted Chinese. And uh, we started talking about pizza and what we all like on it. And I said, no, no fungus. And Travis is like, Grandma, what's that? I go, mushrooms. No fungus on my pizza. <laughs> He's like, oh. Oh, fungus. Not a fan of fungus. Now, I used to make it. You know, my family used to like to eat mushrooms, and I would make mushrooms with dinner with the butter and all that, but none for me. Okay. Um... Dear. Oh, there goes that basket again. Are you kidding me? I must keep hitting it with my leg. Of all my um, dyes and embossing papers. Is that you, Dory? Good thing my the toes weren't there. That would have hurt. Well, I'll get it later. All right. Okay. Let's glue this down. Let's put this up on a dimensional. Oh my, that bird. Last week I moved my craft room around. Well, I didn't even move the whole room around. I just moved my stamp table. So the window now is to my right. And behind me is the window where my uh, embroidery machine is. But, um... Maybe I should tuck a little pizza underneath here. So sometimes I feel like, you know, the birds are going to like come right through the window because the other day I was using the embroidery machine and a bird came and whacked right off the window. It scared the heck out of me. All right. So there's that guy. So let's do the inside. And I have these stamped run this along the bottom. Is that what I did? Yeah. It don't matter what you do, Sue. Sue, you do you. But I was surprised. I got my Stamparatus out. You know, we don't sell that anymore. But I thought, oh, I'm going to need the Stamparatus. Whoop. Stamparatus when I do this checkerboard. I didn't need it at all. It came out perfectly. that. And if you wanted to, you can put a strip going down here as well. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I guess I could. 
Grab the top. Maybe the top. Let's do the top. So yeah, I missed my stamping this week because I've been doing embroidery. And it's not like I can't do them both at the same time, but when I have two embroidery machines running, it just seems like one finishes something and then the other one finishes something and, you know. Okay. So I kind of, you know, have to stick to one thing or another. All right, let's put a piece of pizza there. And my little trick, I want to put a little saying in and just a little saying here. But when you put that on here, it kind of looks, bleh, you know. So here's what I like to do, and I do this a lot. You, you know, you, if you've been following me, you know. I take this, and I stamped it, and use, I use, again, my favorite dies, the uh, stitch shape dies. And it has the circles, it has rectangles, squares, everything you need, and they're stitched. And I dip it in. Oh, that one looks like a bloody mess on the end. Let me do a different one. I don't care for that one. I press too hard. Don't press too hard. Looks like a bloody mess. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Deluxe combo. I suppose that's a type of pizza you can order. We could do a little spatula or spoon or something. We got here. Sure. But these are fun. Just sit down, cut out a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, lay it all out, and have a good time creating, putting yourself in your happy place, and just making it a good, good time. All right. I don't think I forgot anything. I put a little bit of blush on his cheeks there. I think I like that. You got a piece of my heart. And together we make a deluxe combo. That's too cute. Aren't they cute? Too cute. All right, let's bring in our other card that we did together. Church bells are ringing. Must be eight o'clock. All right. Let me toss all this in here. I'm glad I remembered I had these these bins. I used to use them when I used to do classes away, and it just makes it so much easier to be a little bit better organized. So there are our fun fun cards. What do y'all think? You like them? Tidy up as as I wait for your responses. And don't forget upcoming events that are coming. Um, if you earned any of those um, coupons, don't forget to cash them in. You only have another, what is it, two weeks? We only have another two weeks, right? Let me move this off so then you'll be able to see these better. Another two weeks in this month and then we're gonna be into fall already. So, oh, got some stuck under there. So there are our fun cards. I think they look great. And I hope next time my phone is going to cooperate. Oh, hi, Mary. 
I think I just ordered Domino's. Huh. Oh, speaking of that, hold on a second. Let me show you. Let me show you this. Hold on. Domino's. Speaking of Domino's. So you all know that I do the elf on the shelf, right? Let me pick this up. This basket with my dies that fell over. So you all know that I um I do elf on the shelf. And I make clothes for Elf on the Shelf, right? So guess what I found? I found little boxes that you can make. Little Amazon boxes for Elf on the Shelf. But they're Elfazon. And look what else they had. Little dominoes. So look at how cute this would be if you incorporate this with like maybe a little treat with a little pizza man. And I got these from Etsy and you just print them out on your home printer and um you just cut them out and assemble them look at the, look at the little crispy cream so i thought these were so cute here's little tiny crispy creams but i love the dominoes even if you just cut the front of this off you know i, I know not everyone is a dominoes fan but but you mentioned dominoes and i re it reminded me of that and then some of them are actual well, this one's coming apart. I gotta re-glue that. Some of them are actual, you know, with a little label on there and everything. But aren't they the cutest? There's a little Krispy Kreme hat for the little elf. But th this this is my therapy. My therapy, the elf on the shelf. I thought that they were so cute though. When you mentioned dominoes, I'm like, oh my gosh. I made those last year and uh, gave Michelle a bunch of them for her elves. And my elves and I have different clothes I make it all different clothes for the elves um, what else do I got here hold on I also have uh, for the kids Let me show you these I'm kind of proud of the things I make so I guess I should be right so these um, where are my gloves? I have little um, jackets and things that I make for the elves. So if anybody's into Elf on the Shelf, look at the little sweater. And uh, here's a little boy sweater. Yeah, how cute they are. And, um, this one is for Preston. How many of you know Bluey? Do you know Bluey? Here's a little Bluey for him. And uh, here's a little Disney bound sweater. Anybody going to Disney? A little Disney bound sweater. Let me get that one out. But these are the things I make on my embroidery machine. Aren't they cute? For Delilah, because her big thing is cows, let me move this aside. I made for her, for her elf, a little cow, little boots, here's the shirt, we'll have to lay them out, pants, look at the fancy boots for hers, oh my gosh, I love them, uh, what was this one here, oh, wait till you see this one, this one is super cute, this one is a pickle that the elf goes in, a little pickle. Uh, what else do I have? This one is just a snowflake, but I'm looking for the gloves. I have gloves. Oh, my elbow. What do I do with the gloves? Oh, hold on. I got to reach a little further. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So if anybody's interested, I make a lot of different stuff. And there goes another crash. Um, I have some mug rugs. And, and here I have a whole bunch of different boots. Christmas boots, star boots. And these are all for the elf on the shelf. Look at how cute they are. 
Uh, I have some uh, rope coasters, tags. Um, but I got to show you these. These are, so you know how anybody with Elf on the Shelf, you're not supposed to touch them because it takes their luck away. So I made Elf gloves so you can, you know, put the glove on and you could touch your Elf. So I made a whole bunch of different Elf gloves. You know how cute they are. And just decorated them. That one has little bells on it. Um, for Ricky's, I made his little elf, little hunter suit for his little elf. But um, I got a lot of stuff. I got a whole a whole basket of all sorts of different towels, coasters. This one I meant to give to uh, to Aaron, Happy Camper. Isn't that cute? But these are the things that I make on my embroidery machine. They're just so fun. This is a little uh, case holder, the sunflower. There's a little tag. But just su such fun things that I like. I enjoy doing. It makes me happy. And um, but the whole thing started with Nancy saying she just ordered Domino's. But really cute, really fun things. Um, here's more rope baskets. I make rope baskets on my sewing machine. Um, more coasters. Anybody in Florida, there's Flamingo Christmas. Um, mug rugs, lots of mug rugs. This is a, a eyeglass case. Little books that you could put your little planners in. Uh, USA. Look at this, how cute this is. A little notebook. Take notes. This is done with uh, vinyl. And this could be a little uh, credit card holder. These go on the edge of books to mark your books. But those, those, these are all the fun things. And then my most recent one were these little ghosts, little keychains. This one has a little key fob on it. But fun things, if you wonder, what does she do over there all day long? And this is what I do. These are the things that make me happy. Now I just have to find an outlet of what to do with them all, except for all the things that, you know, I make for gifts. But I think these gloves are like, super uno fun because you know if you have an elf and it fell on the floor you know how do you what do you do you put your little glove on I think I'm putting it on the wrong way how does it go this way put your little glove on and then you know you're safe to to go and uh, rescue your elf or you can hang it on your tree I think they're super cute I love this one with a little pink on it. What do y'all think? Who knew that Sue can do all these things? You just never know. So I'll wrap all this up. Oh, I'm losing a boot. But I have a pile, piles of stuff that I just keep making. And you know, I have people that ask me to make things. I make them for them and then they pay me. And you know, it gives me something to do. It makes me happy makes them happy, but I love these little sweaters that go on the elves. You can never make that if you wanted to sew that and stitch that. This is all stitched on a machine embroidery. All stitched. I love the Disney one. A lot of people like to go to Disney for Christmas, so they want to decorate their elf too. Right? Leave it out. Let your elf decorate itself. But I think Delilah's going to love her little cow. <laughs> This goes over the head. It has a little elastic in the back. It goes over the head. It has her little, her little cow. So what do y'all think? You like the little embroidery things? So creative. Do you have any house hocus kitchen? Oh, hocus pocus. I do. Wait, I do. Hold on. I don't know if I gave it to Aaron or not. Hold on. Let me look here. I have some towels here in the mix. 
the other basket. I have, uh, let me get this out of the way. I have a, a cat. I have a bunch of hot pads. Happy St. Patrick's Day coaster. What is this one? This one has pumpkins. This one I made the other day, squeeze the day. And this one has a uh, coffee on it. This is the lemons. I have to look in the other room. Um, Cause I know I did. Some, uh, this was a happy Easter one, florals. I know I did, but I don't know if I sold them or I gave them as gifts. Cause my son's girlfriend is uh, big into all the Halloween-y stuff, but I'll have to look. If I post pictures on here, is anybody interested? You, would anyone be interested in any of the um, items? Because I, I really would, I really would, you know, love to find homes for them. I love this cow.